for me, if you look at their major one victory, it's a search and destroy. I think that is the biggest difference. When we talk about square up, you see these records right here. Undefeated. Both teams undefeated, 14-0 between them. We will see one with a loss after this first map. 7-0, 7-0, and into the battle we go. Toronto Ultra, Optic Texas, ready to fight. We kick it off on sub base, and we'll see if Big Ken and the boys can get it going, or will it be? The sensation that is Kleenex so far, so good. It's Kenny on the board. Yeah, I mean, Kenny obviously lives for these matchups, but another man, potential MVP of the year. Scrap has been so consistent in the response. Yeah. He looks forward to these matchups. He wants gunfights. He wants to take it to the best players in the world, and this is his opportunity. So what both teams are trying to do on this map, and a map like Sub Base, a bit unique in our rotation, is there players maybe you're looking at on both sides that have to be super for these teams in this one? Well, I, th I think for me it's insight, right? Uh, on a map like Sub Base, you're controlling a lot of the top mids. You have to win some of these long-range gunfights. Inside at times has struggled, but if he plays consistent, it feels like that's when Ultra is at their best. On the other side, it's Ken. It's Ken for me. It feels like these are when he just goes nuclear. He looks forward to this. Yeah, no, uh, when you're playing against the, the big four, he, it's when he is popping off. But to the point, nobody for now yet. Early setup, maybe if you were Optic Texas, three in a row there for Shotzi before he drops. But we'll see what Scrap and Inside can now do. Nice hip fire and tracking there from Scrap to get his third. As he pops off the six and two, gets control here now with 35 or so remaining. And you start to rally the troops. Maybe look for a lead change here with a solid hold. Yeah, now Shotzi's starting to work this pinch, but Scrap five in a row would love number six and the crews. Didn't have to take the gun fight versus Dashy. Dashy with a big one. And now if you're Ultra, you want this time but number one does spawn out in scrap so a big rotation here one versus five scrap versus kenny envoy spawns up so ultra a little bit blessed you get a little aggressive at this p2 if you are optic so ultra gonna take that all day because you did not earn a lot of time with the spawns there at our second hill but a chance here at p3 yeah i thought you were to get something you get 10 to show for not a whole lot but now can you get it rolling get it rocking is inside kleenex through with the headshots and looking to hold it down kleenex started 0 and 5 maybe now start Starting to get something going, but here comes the onslaught from Optic Texas. Three flying on forward. Pred, Shotzi with the openers. Kleenex gonna be the one man here to likely deal with this. Eyes on one up top, some tags in, but into the hard point. Go Optic Texas. It's another break and just disrupting any positive flow for Ultra, any positive momentum early in this game. And you've got what? Kleenex three and seven, Envoy two and eight. Look at both are struggling. Good luck. Granted, it's early. Yeah, and again, we just saw this matchup versus Carolina for Optic. They run four MCWs. They want to play around match control and really around this P4. This is how they do it. This is how they got their run going versus the Ravens. It was sort of keeping them trapped on the right side of the map, winning this rotation over to P4, combining P4 and P5. They're setting it up here, but Ultra gonna get this scrap time. It's gonna be a very close game, but you're gonna need a break for Ultra. Yeah, yeah at least you get, what, 20, 25 there. If you are Ultra, so something to write home about. After the two, Kenny's able to get. He'll get stunned. He's got one more in front of him, though. The Simtex might be able to hit. Can he get the damage in throw? He's just gonna go up top for now. As Optic enjoy the setup, he'll be lurking on one side of the map. The movement there, the play there. Three straight, the gunny, not quite enough. Maybe one more bullet, he got that. But look where you're taking these gunfights, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It's nowhere near the hill. Now you're finally get there, but Optic's still owning the time. Here comes Ultra, though. Three players pushing the hill. A couple of players spawning out and putting Dashy. Ultra have to go. They at least keep it white for now. It turns out when you have multiple gunfights happening at full, 20 seconds into the next hard point, probably good for the team that is in the hard point. But now as you push through and find some kills, you're getting to the back of the triple there from Big Brucey, though. As Dashy gets three, they fight through the front. You get up inside, and in a moment that looks like maybe things fall apart, you at least disrupt some of this time. You still, you've got only 40 on the board right now if you're Ultra. Still obviously in chomping distance. Yeah, and again, it, right, the, Optic just playing patient, playing around map control. Now a chance here for them to earn time again. They set up this P5 hold. So there's putting pressure on Ultra with their slaying ability, controlling top snow, that bottom side of the map. Back over to Envoy. He's going to have to make a play, but a team shot is in out of Shotzi and Dashy. I thought Dashy. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> he got to, shot in the back. I was about to lose my mind. I saw who came through on the kill feed, but more time accruing. We're racking up right now for Optic Texas.
balanced effort out of the squad. To Kenny's POV, we will go. Damage in, but he'll get swarmed. Three will drop, and it's dashing by himself in this moment. In a couple of these spots, he's been able to get big multi-kills. Not going to happen there as he's caught trying to mantle up. So you get a healthy chunk of time, and again, just enough to like, stay in the fight right now for your ultra. It's been a slow start for a couple of your players. Kleenex has picked it up. Envoy still sitting at double negative, but you're still like a hard point away. Well, he was running a rival there for a bit too, so I imagine that Envoy switches out over towards that MCW. Shotzi, the teamwork there with Dashi once again on display. Only down 25 is Toronto Ultra. It was Scrap who got them out of a tough spot at that P5. They're gonna need a play here, maybe from number one on the minimap to set them up on this push. Dashi just put his shots in, and there we go. There is Scrap and Envoy onto the hill. Yeah, I mean, you were kind of all over the map. The spawns came in for Optic Tech, so a bit of a split when you had two by it. You had like a square set up around mid-map, and you're able to find an opening through the gut if you are ultra, but keep an eye on number six now, and Shotzi may be looking to make the play. We'll see if he's going to be able to disrupt this. I think they start to turn, though. Insight picks it up. He gives the call out. They know. All right, we haven't seen Shotzi for a while. This is a map he can get lost on, so heads up play. Out of Insight to track him down. Now you're controlling the middle of the map. You're controlling the power positions. You can see this is going to set up Ultra for this P2. Scrap lining him up once again to 18 and 13. He goes a flurry of purple there on the kill feed. And with this remaining timing, you're basically looking at an exactly tied game. Now, that was the case when we casted off to Texas. When you talk about it against Carolina, it was a tie game, then it wasn't. They ran away with it. But the hometown team trying to now make the run to Ultra. We go with a listen in. He's not crushed yet, I don't think. I'm He's still there. Still there. Still there. We're going to take some. He's not crossed, I don't think. Still there. Do you have mid? Yeah, top, top, top guard and win the one's low tin. Already top, outside door. Top guard. Top guard weak. Come to help you basically. Top guard absolutely one tunnel. Top guard one tunnel, one tin. Need to be in the back. Yeah, nice, nice. Top glass, one tunnel, one tin. I'm not sure now. Top, top, top. Nice. Top. One top. 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 Yeah, it's hard enough, does she end? That's both, 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 both. Okay, yeah. One shot, absolute damage. I might go left, bro. That's good shit. I'll be on time, I'll be on. Yeah. Have an ult. Just right, right there, bro. Right. Give it a sec, okay? I'll left. I'll try with you, alright? I'm trying to know. Barrel, barrel. Yeah, they're gonna play still out. Still in the barrel, still in the barrel. Look where you can barrel. He's gonna play out, bro. He loves playing P2. Yeah, we definitely play the back, boys. Yeah. I'm trying to break him. I'm trying to break him. P2 right now. He's gonna be here. Silas, probably. In the back. I'm not here, bro. I'm from Ultra. It has always been the case. They are vibing and frying up 40. Joe, what do you see well, going they're, forward? They're controlling the map, Ooh. right? Scrap now. He's up to 24, but they are controlling the map so well. Kenny was the one player they had to find. Right now in position, right? But you don't allow Optic to get into a clean setup here at this P4. You've controlled P2 into a P3 now. Great plays from Envoy. The power of the mullet is hitting with that rival. But inside, you are waiting on him. Staying patient. Now we're going to have the help of Scrap to break this setup here for Optic. The power of the mullet. That, that is disgusting. But it's set up inside and trying to hold. Now is Texas working all the way around. Is he going to expect this, though? Spawning right in behind him. No way you're reading that. Wow. The shot's coming. I'm disgusting. He's going to drop. That is a painful one. You think you worked the whole way to the back. Yeah, that one gets past him in the time. Rack it up now. Optic Texas looking for a lead change. Yeah, I mean, a great control, but it, it, because of that early lead that you have held on to, Optic, they're going to take the lead. There's going to be a lead change, but if all the skirmishes starting to go down low as that lead change is in, Kenny B to be the first man here. A bit of off angle, going to find scrap. I'll see if we can find any more behind this position given up. Going to have to win some tough ones and not going to happen there. It's like comes popping on forward, I believe, with a the pistol. Then yeah. pop its head clean off. 
Into the point now, or Ultra. Their turn to try and hold. One out deep will be Scrap, who's going to be coming in behind enemy lines. Spawning out wide right will be another one for Ultra. And it's Shotzi and Kin that break the point wide open. Also pick up the mid kill towards mid. You are set up for success. This was the moment they had versus Carolina, right? It was right around this, this score line. Yep. And now you are yep. in this trap if you are Ultra. You were trying to get out. But this is what they do. Look at the top right. You are on 10 kills in a row if you are on Optic Texas. The pressure now over to Ultra to find a break. Yeah, a chance to get some streaks too. We'll see if you're able to do it if you're Optic Texas. Prince POV here for a moment as he's hunting and lurking. Point man might be Kenny then on the other side of it. Shotzi's going to drop. Prince going to get awkward timing. Kenny will fall as well as the entire team going big now for Ultra. But Dashi does get number five. One away from a potential cruise. So the comm's got to be on for Ultra trying to get that kill. Make sure no streak coming in. The one-on-one -on -one is looming. What will the timing be like? I think it's insight that was wrapped the whole way around. This could be good or this could be great, but inside the point and looking to close this one out, it's Optic Texas. There's the cruise. You pick it up as Big Bruce able to go clutch. And, and again, just the one kill that he did. You were in a three dead scenario. So much pressure now on Ultra again because the map has flipped. You're just trying to find any second that you can if you are Optic. That is going to be a three dead, but you do have that extra cruise now. That utility to work with is Pred hitting the headshots. Lead around 50. Cruise He's gonna go coming for it right away. Bruce. From the top rope, from the sky, Missilin not able to hit, but Brendan Kenny able to get two though, and the comms will come through on player positions. Right over to a tough gun fight with Ken, able to take that first one. 20 away from the victory. Now our Optic Texas. Shotzi loses his target. Ultra try to rally back. You don't have enough juice in the tank in this hard point to win it here. So we'll see another rotation, but you're just gonna be five, six points away. Yeah, it's going to come down to a red ultra. No, they need a clean P2. They're going to have to rotate over to, towards P3. Close spawns in the back for Optic. Ken didn't win the first one. Shotzi winning for his teammates. The nades, the stunts, starting to fly on in. Unfortunately, it's a team nade, <laughs> but he's able to find the first. Now, if you're ultra, you have to control top barrels, his power position. The fact he even gets that kill with what 50 HP, whatever he had, is Pred trying to not pop off the tail into this one as he dials up a triple and he's roaring on the cam. It's a victory in map one for Optic Texas. And Pred is on his feet. Well, and everybody you know, in the venue knows what that guy was saying. Just dead, dead, yeah, dead. I think that is absolutely the case. But I think you highlighted the big moment, similar to their win versus Carolina, where they kind of turn on the Jets. They get the opposition on clamps, and they run away with it. Take me through one more time. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's that P5. I think you had the chance if you were ultra. Uh, unfortunately, this map is what it is, and that P4 spawn comes in. Yeah, that was, that, that was rough. Uh, no, it's horrendous. Yeah, However, that, that, um, it, that sort of sets them up for a, a good scenario at P5. But ultra Ultra were there, but then it was that break. A couple of more chances maybe to get out of that trap, but uh, Dashi was able to find one more. He goes on that six free. The fact that he gets one, because there was a chance it was a clean four dead for Optic. True. The map flips, but he finds one. He puts pressure on, hey, we have to find Dashi. While that happens, his teammates come off spawn. Well, it feels like he is the last line of defense at times. I mean, just to put on his play style with this current team. And when he needs to get a big multi-kill, get one big gunfight win when he's last alive, he has been able to do it. Scrap, who was shooting, maybe shooting a little bit too much on the tail end of that one, is not able to walk away with the W, but he puts up, what, 6K damage, 34 kills. He was shooting. And this is what you wanted, right? Right here in this game, you're controlling this P3. You, you've chained two hills together, starts to get this, you know, lead build on up where you're controlling the map but what Kenny's able to win one on the other side that is when that spawn comes in then just early in this p5 you have this setup if you were ultra but it's shots and Kenny with three in the feed that lead to the break and now you have this decision if you are ultra how do we get out of this if we go to the top side of the map we're gonna give up 30 to 40 seconds if we flood down low we might just enter the blender well that's that's the trouble when you know a team needs 20 sub points and you know you're back like 50 it just it changes your play style, changes your decision. You can't take long routes. You can't set things up maybe like you want to. You gotta scramble, you gotta fly at the hard point. You start getting caught, and that's what Team Optics gonna punish you, right? When the game plan maybe unravels. But that was something fierce there. The boys are up. Roaring fist bumps out and feeling good after the first. So look through the game flow now for our map one sub base. And dude, it feels so, so much like the Carolina one. No, it does. I mean, but honestly, it's that second P4, right? Did you go from 126 to 174 behind that spawn? Uh, behind that spawn, it is what it is. Have to deal with it. And then on that P5, they're able to get into a better position and find the early break. But as we said, this is a square up. 
all the way through. Karachi, the map, both of these teams have played a ton in Search and Destroy. Oh, listen, all, all of our maps, there are certain hills where you have uh, those, <laughs> those spots where somebody's spawning up, spawning, someone's spawning up right behind them. We see it all over the place. That particular one in that moment, though, yes, absolutely painful. You're not able to rebound if you are Ultra. And Optic Texas, they capitalize. They run through the rest of it, get the victory in map one, and now take the edge. So you're probably a little flustered on the other side of the stage. Going to need the Vinny to rally behind you, get going back into the search and destroy. But where the search was so, so good early on in the year, when you talk about maybe having Skid Row in the rotation and what you're able to do on the map if you were this Ultra team, hasn't quite been the same level. No, and then on the other side for for Optic and Dashi, right? He has just gotten going. Uh, he yeah, has the yeah. most clutches. Uh, he's up by four. The one v ones, the one v twos. The guy is just the ice man right now. Well, he's always uh, I think had an instinct for search and destroy. Yes. His background. We know how good he was when he first came into the Optic organization ages ago. I was putting up numbers with TJ. Like they had what, like a one point six both their first event in search, just frying. And they changed around an organization that had always struggled in search and destroy. That was usually the bane for like. An optic team for years he came in sort of changed what they were able to do there but like listen it's part the pedigree of the player in search and also he just hit shots he shouldn't like some, no, of, the, is. some of the clutches like the one that they did like through the railing he just makes it look so easy it's like a four bullet headshot like, oh, oh okay no, his beams right. are insane yeah, yeah he, he shoots real straight and kills people faster than others do i swear and, and then again i mean for ultra you know 50 50 and respawns versus optic but you were zero three in search of destroy when you won that major it was through the search versus phase in the final like they did not lose a search to phase throughout major one but you can see scrap what he's done well what he did on thursday the man popped off yeah and some of the stats will show throughout your tone just about the major. You have some Thursday they action. Got one match. So, yeah. yeah, you have one match. Maybe it's a lesser team. You're putting up some absolute stats. What matters is what they're able to do in this particular matchup, what they can do the rest of the way. Is Scrap is on. Uh, he's got two people, one bullet. Not able to finish either, but the damage surely in. But we'll still be sitting at a four versus four. It's the Optic Texas guys will get back to full HP and look for the next fight. But it's offense for Ultra, and they are looking for the opening. To Kleenex's POV for now is. It's really we'll on the back over and see how they set up towards B. Yeah, there's really two lurkers here. It's, it's Kleenex on one side, Pred on the other, kind of relying on them. Both teams just sort of feeling out the round. Half the round is done. The smoke is out, but it's it's kind of a fake. I think they're going to have the info, the rotate. No one should move here. If you are Optic, Dashi maybe just going to cheat on over well, for a moment. The, the smoke didn't even cut off like, the angle on the cross. So he's just like, boys, no one, no one actually crossed. Obviously, they could be waiting and baiting out the other way. You have a lot to check. Here we go. They start to go. The first check going to be there. I'm be able to get the kill. Okay. Time is a dwindling insight. With another nice shot from Dashi, though, through on the cross, at least able to drop one. We just talked about the ice. Does he have another one here? Him and Pred. Two versus three. I, I don't know if he hurt Scrap or what, but some bad timing. He is going to find it. him with the pistol, so we're into a two-on-two. Two. Plenty of time for Pred and Dashi to work with. This would be a two-on-four if they are able to do it, but you said plenty of time, but second by second, that is dwindling. So many things to check. Pred in, Pred out, able to stay up for now. Daddy going to be popped, getting back to full HP. 15 now on the clock. Yeah, he gets another. It's a three. In the round for him. It's just Kleenex scrambling, trying to get around, get around. Drops in between. Dashi with all four. And the defuse. Talk about the ice. Did he get it? It was very close. I don't. Oh, I thought he had it. I thought he had it. I think there's a miscom there. There's a miscom. I'll be honest, I looked away to the crowd when they went to pick it up. What Some, happened? Somebody blacked out. Who is Dashi with? Pred? What Pred, just happened? Pred just blacked out. That's what happened. I, I don't know what that was. I, I literally turned to look at the crowd, sort of jumping around, and then I turned back, and you're like, oh, no, he has it. I was like, what? Well, yeah, I mean, he got the kill, but then he had to slide to the bomb. I, I don't know where Pred was. Somebody blacked out throughout this. Yeah, look, seven. Yeah, they both kind of uh, go for it. Ah. Uh, and there we go. Uh, I mean, maybe I, I, I thought, felt like there was a couple of seconds I thought, there, though. I thought he got the kill like nine. I thought he yeah, had he it. Did. No, he, he did. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I'd have to watch it back. I was, I was just getting fired up because Dashi got all four. I'm screaming, and then things, uh, well, they explode onto Pred and Dashi's face as uh, they will lose the round, and you got one out now if you're Ultra. So we'll get deeper into this one. It's so round two and a wild start to this search to destroy, a wild fight at close range. Dashi's got all five as he's showing he can get it done with a fist. The mitts are out as well. 
for Scrap. We'll bring it to a 3 3. I'll tell you what, though, I like seeing that from Envoy. He's had a much better stage in search of what specifically, but taking chances, finding those openings. And now Scrap going to try to bring it back into a 2 on 2. Sorry, 3 on 1. But there is a quick trade. Now it's down to Dashi again. Why not? Ah, uh, not this time. Well, not last time either, I suppose. Strano, they now go up to in the search and destroy, but some wild timing, some crazy moments in around one that I already like. I just need to watch it back and see how it all played out. Well, it's just one of those rounds, right? Like we, we've had this in, I mean, a long time ago, but like that Vanguard round, right, where Dashi falls in the water, then like there was sort of a mental collapse well, at that moment. Not need to bring Splashy out right now. But like I'm just saying, this is a, an early test here in the search and destroy for Optic. Yep. He's been leading the charge, surely, but is Toronto leading on the map? What will they do this time? Offensively, last time, kind of a smoke fake over towards B. The presence is going to be here towards mid and B, though. If you are Optic Texas, so you have very easy transition over. Smoke hadn't quite bloomed yet. Tries to get across. Shotzi going to shut it down, and he's dancing with death in the smoke. Out of it. Swan dive. Trying to get around. Finally able to track it. It gets to a two versus two. Pred Dashy, though, able to stabilize and take care of the round is... Well, you know, as well as I do, smoke out, things get wacky. Well, and I think that's just a miscom similar to round one. Uh, I think between Envoy and Kleenex there, uh, Kleenex is obviously sliding, but I think he's hoping the smoke has already popped. Oh, it bloomed, like, right after yeah. he, like, went out. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, you've seen, like, nades in, in past titles sort of get caught in the bomb. I don't know if that happened, but it just felt like they like the come skip off. and roll yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just sort of the timing off there for Ultra, and they get caught as Shotzi. Be able to find the double and then play his life for so long. Try to have timing be a little bit too picture perfect on the fast side and things don't quite work out. So another kind of crazy moment here as we get to round number four. All the utility hitting over the top. Stun's definitely going to connect a multiple Optic Texas player. Smoke is already there. Second one out. Both have been exhausted, but you basically try to get Envoy to his spot through one smoke. And now suddenly Optic can hold up, put the brakes on this. Well, I think Envoy got stunned, right? So he's immediately just going to put it at his feet. So hopefully he doesn't die from that position or through mid. And that Good was the play call. Smoke. Yeah, pretty much. Just sort of, uh-oh, pressure on me. But he gets to his spot. Shotzi still over there with the bomb. And now it's just both teams just trying to find information. Slows down here for a moment as everybody takes a breath in the venue. We continue on in a while. One, Kenny, the top AC. Tickled from what seems all over. Shotzi dove through him and through Kleenex. As he gets the first blow, but a quick though. trade is there, and Bomb will be down in a precarious position. Now Kenny trying to get eyes. Damage is there. Beamers are through, and Kenny tacks another one to a 3 2. We go. Pred, Kenny, end it. Well, and I just don't think Kleenex expects a dolphin through the window. Uh, no, no. That's, that's what happened. What sound does a dolphin make, Joe? Uh, I don't know if I could. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. No, I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't right. very good, but no, no that, that was... Yeah, you just don't expect that. He gets the one player weak, and then Shotzi just flies on through with a little trade. The bomb does get dropped, but they get caught inside a fountain. Taking a look kind of at the data sheet. Anyone like pop it off for you outside of Dashy right? He's got Dashy at 1,300 damage in six and two. I mean, obviously back to that first round, but kind of scrapped the one going toe for toe with him, at least on a damage standpoint. A little quicker now over towards A. If you are ultra, kind of sitting over there by himself will be Kenny backside diner as he's looking for the angle. Probably calming is. They haven't seen anything on the other side. You see the position there, number seven from Pred. So you're saying, boys, this looks like it's likely going to be pressure. Jose Kenny tries to go find the timing, nearly able to get two, which would have disrupted everything, but buys his team some time because he stops the plant. Yeah, that's just it and allows Dashi to rotate on over. However, they do not have cafe control and Scrap Ooh. almost able to take him down. One player is in, though. Shotzi top red. Scrap maybe sees him. He does. Tries to put some shots in. You have a tight setup right now if you are ultra. You see number seven just making sure there's no late flank, but Shotzi going to be the point man. Nice little pre-fire there. Has the smoke, and oh, this God. is just where he thrives. Oh, God. Where is he? Where did he go? Shots in. Tags for both. Repositioning. It's on, boy. It deals with it. Chest bumps another, and they're nearly able to get the two. Pop it. The damage is through. Now Pred in a clutch position. 15 to go. Checks ticket. Nobody home. Around and around we go. It's a circle. Continues. It's inside with the flow. And Ultra with the round. Oh, that's a great round out of inside. He wastes so much time with the pistol there for the trade on the Shotzi. Then knows Pred is going to be on the chase. 
not known for his movement, but he was quick throughout that round, leading the team now with six kills. Picking it up big time as you get another on the board if you're ultra. I mean, anytime a smoke is out in those positions, like flip a coin, like it just <laughs> absolute chaos ensues. But I kind of like, like, after the first kind of panic shots, just the, I don't know, you get calm if your envoy's kind of back out of that. <laughs> Recenter, try to simplify things for yourself. Thankfully, gets aim assist and he's able to get the kill. But back up in front, go ultra. But a tear right now from inside as he's on three straight. Shots he getting across. Kleenex, well, no longer getting across as uh, Kleenex clotheslines him. Yeah, I mean, you had sort of, you know, Envoy just in a really tough spot. The nades, the stuns were on him. So that just lets the team know, hey, there's going to be some mid pressure. Somebody look mid. Make sure Shotzi doesn't climb up on this ladder. Getting the top red. Able to shut him down. And now on to Fred. Gets spotted by Scrap trying oh, to hit the wall bank. Here's him like jump over the bottom. Just gets the shots through. Now Kleenex looking to reposition. It's tough. You have the rival there. You get caught. A 3v3. What yeah, do you Pred, see, Fred gets under all the timing for Fred. <laughs> oh. I swear the, the, the ladders sometimes are like magnetic. You just climb on top of them. And while he tries to get off of it quickly, but he was behind enemy lines. The timing though does not go his way. Plant, though, is in. Two versus three now for Kenny and Dashy. Make it another clutch scenario for Dashy as Scrap gets another. Not gonna happen. Envoy sniffs him out. Ultra, tons of time. The retake of the 3v2 is on, and they will take a 4-2 edge now in the map. So far, the sauce here in the search. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Ultra, a great round from them. A nice recovery. You get the first blood from Kleenex, but honestly, it's a Pred play, right? It's just sort of, if that works out better for Pred, maybe Optic, or more than likely, Optic win that yeah, round. At least yeah. have a two-on-two. Two. Maybe there's a quick trade, but instead, he starts to climb the ladder and gets caught. Deeper. And deeper we go as the fans now try to rally behind the optic side and get them back into this down two rounds. But Dashy, so many opportunities in the clutch, but very tough scenarios. The streak for inside continues as well. You get out to four now. Is that's what's been lacking for him a little bit? I mean, sometimes the respawn may be not there, but the search has usually been good for him since he joined the league. Hasn't quite had the impact as of late, but right now he's doing it at seven and three. I mean, when they won Major 1 at Major 1, he had like a 1.8 in search. Yeah. I, I, it was around that one. Some insane numbers, especially in the final. He is different when he is in his bag in search, that's for sure. Shotzi, though, might find the first blood here on the Kleenex. The smoke is Good out. Luck. And there we go. Pred Shotzi, the SMG duo takeover. Yeah, you see the whirlwind there. His players lose an aim assist. It is a tough, tough fight through the smoke. Hold yeah, on. Two left, but trapping inside. He said, I'll take that all day. Shooting beams. Now Shotzi's turn to try and clutch. Down to a one versus one. Shotzi. Scrap. Oh, he spotted him. He spotted him cross. Did you see it on the other side of it, though? Oh, you sure as hell did. Now seven HP. Scrap is shooting missiles. And this is how he's feeling. He's just going for it. Maybe not going to expect this. This reposition here from Scrap. And crowd, we are going to take our time here. Did a check it, and there we go. Scrap just takes over that round. Literally, his teammates die and says, I am going to run out of this archway Whoa. and tell whatever the hell Whoa. I want. I mean, inside had some absurd shots lately, too. We've been casted. Like, he's looking like Scrap at times. Like, I mean, he is one of the most confident shooters we have seen in the history of the league. Scrap does not care what the situation is. He is taking the gunfight. 5 2. Advantage now for Ultra. Because it felt like you had that one in your hands and it slipped away. A couple rounds. I, mean, I, gotta, I still got to watch round one back and see exactly what happened. But a couple rounds where you feel like you should have had him if you're Optic Texas. It was four straight for inside. He drops down four straight for scrap as he explodes. Now, this is the position we saw Kenny playing. So Kleenex at least going to find one. Now, time to finesse if he can. At least buy time for his teammates to get there. And that is what he does. He is still alive. Kleenex inside the bus. You see Pred middle of the map. So all the focus is really on the big 10. And he's going to get shut down and scrap on five in a row. Ultra have not won a surge versus Optic team. Look at the closing out here. Scrap is dishing out buzz cuts. And he almost wants to chow this one as well. Pred, all the hopes lie. And his hands, he's got to bring it in the one versus three. 45 seconds to go, but yeah, in the opening moments, Kleenex gets caught backtracking one time. Not going to happen this time. You catch one if you're Pred. 1v3 to a one versus two. Got to hit the reload. Think about the re-engagement, but still time to go. 30. 
now on the clock. You see on the mini map, stacked up diner side is Ultra. They have bomb down towards dumpster. You might get a one on one, but it's a one on one against Scrap, and he has had the absolute beamer. Ultra ticket dies up one one. I mean, he tries to reposition for a second, but the urge to just take the gunfight is too much for Scrap, and he's able to win an envoy. Or sorry, Kleenex was right there. But Scrap and inside the AR duo take over on this map, tie the series up at one. Yeah, and on the scoreboard, you know, it doesn't look all that close in 6-2, but you had a bunch of clutch opportunities if you're optic. You had man numbers that, that disappeared. But, you know, when you have teams of this caliber and you have players of this caliber, sometimes somebody like Scrap's going to take over. Or like Dash in round one. I know you ran out of time, but like you just, you can fry everybody. These guys are incredible. It's fun to watch. Yeah, 2300 damage there Woo! for Scrap leading the lobby. On the other side, I mean, yeah, if you're obviously you're in this round one, you then had that pred play where, right where he gets under, yeah, under ultra, and then that four on two, yeah, uh, you know, maybe it's a three on two, but you had the numbers advantage. There's three rounds you could probably circle, go back, rewatch, figure out what the hell we're happened. We're probably going to round eleven or something yeah. like that. Like, we're, we're going a little bit deeper in this, but it could be the case, but. You tied up it 1-1. One, one. I mean, even the map one, you know, we're tight throughout the sub base until really the final mode, which is the last couple of hard points. As we get ready now to head forward and control, just be on that mode before we go to break, what are your big thoughts for these two teams? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're going to Invasion, which these two teams have a ton of reps on, right? Uh, Optic, they've been struggling a little bit in control, but I think in a, in a matchup like this, they'll be fine. Well, we hope this one will be an absolute banger. We have the top four matching up. I mean, the phase, New York one, that goes pretty quick. It's a three of this one. We want a banger. The fans deserve it. The place has been erupting. The moments have been tremendous. Tied up 1-1 in Toronto in front of the home crowd. Ultra, Optic, go deeper. Map three up after the break. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. SCUF Gaming is doing an ultimate giveaway where you and a friend can win a chance to go to COD Champs this year. The giveaway includes two VIP tickets, travel expenses, and more. To enter, scan the QR code on the page or go to scuff.co slash CDL and enter your email. Terms and conditions apply. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Now boarding. Operators, welcome aboard your direct flight to sunny Yerzikstan. Please adjust your seat to the upright position and ensure your loadouts are securely stowed in the overhead compartments. Dude, get off. If needed, gas masks will drop from the compartment overhead, ensuring your safety throughout the war zone. If you are teaming with someone who needs help, assist them only after placing on your mask first. Ensuring headset devices are fully operational for crispy comms, because nobody likes a silent teammate. In the unlikely event that you land in the gulag, please refer to the safety card in the seat pocket in front of you. This is a battle royale specifically for trios. <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone match point will be introduced for the first time and Solo Yolo will make an appearance. Expansion regions are back and that means once we land, everyone will be competing for a piece of the massive $1 million prize pool. Uh -huh. Thank you for flying Yurzikstan Airlines. We know you don't have a choice when flying, but we appreciate you choosing to hot drop with us today. Good luck and may the best squad win.
Frustrations there in a crazy moment in that round one. Dashi able to get all four, just not able to get on bomb in time to close out the round. A couple of frustrating ones there, but you're tied up 1 1 due to uh, getting the win there in the opening hard point. Now we get ready to go deeper in this. We get to invasion control. It's going to be squaring up across this series. You get a lot of maps you like for either team. Let's continue the battle. Yeah, I mean, last time these two teams played on land, this goes all the way to around five. Ultra were able to win. That's when Scrap, I think, just went nuclear, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, invasion. Yeah. Control just had an insane map. Probably, yeah. I think his team, everyone had like 20 and 4k damage, and he had like 40 and 7 something. <laughs> you know, it was, yeah, it was unbelievable. Uh, and the way he was shooting the map, too, that could happen again. But yeah, I mean, obviously, there's only a couple of seconds left really for them to hop on that defuse. There's so many places to check. Pred's going back cafe, Dash is going one way. Just milliseconds away from winning that yeah, round. Yeah, you hear the comms that Dash is like, oh, just run away. It sounds like so yeah. sad. Like, you're probably so fired up in that moment, you get them all, but just not enough time to close it out. Now, to the control we go. Is Optic trying to answer back after the search and destroy a loss where Scrap goes to nuclear? Envoy, who's been looking to step it up across this major, been very critical of himself at the last one. Well, he's basically stomping on a player. Pride is going to drop. Able to get a rival to work with as well, and he's shooting straight right now. As he gets two, though, everybody else basically drops. Dashi able to get a second there, and now everything's wide open. You've got Ultra on the back rope. And then just, yeah, watch number six, right? Just Shotzi right off of B into the spawn, just trying to find some kills, putting pressure over towards A alongside Pred. Wasting their time as much as he can. And while you're still worried about this man, this is what he does time and time again. Now pressure over towards this A site with the help of Big Ken. Trying to avoid him, but uh, takes a wrong angle. Envoy Scrap able to win the gun fights. Envoy with another one. That'll calm things down for Ultra. And what goes okay for you here for your Ultra is like they were kind of caught between committing day and getting on both. I think they were crossing, you get all three. So not a lot of progress was done. You just have one ticket B. Because they were thinking about sitting that at A, depending if you got another kill or two. So you're actually in a good spot considering the chaos that was at the beginning. Like it looks so good for Optic, but now with only 35 seconds on the clock, it's like we got a tick. Yeah, I mean, Envoy is shooting, by the way. Uh, he's doing uh, very well with the MCW. <laughs> and I think maybe this yeah. is what he needed, right? Yeah. On some of these maps, just pull out the, the fourth MCW, do it. It can be tough with your timing. No way! As inside no way. somehow hits those hip fire shots. Now pressure on the bottom street side. Dash, you're gonna lose that one to Scrap. Kenny off spawn. And as you said, you try to transition. And Envoy with five in a row. Only one take done it be. You just start slamming them. Closing the door does Toronto Ultra. It looks so good. You had, what, a three or four down on the Ultra side. Optic looking good. They get into good positions. Sword is playing around the slang and setting stuff up. You're finally able to get across to A. I think there were two players over by B. I was like, are they going to put this on B and progress it, or are they going to try and cut over and help? And they were... Kyle, they were caught in between it. They decide to go towards A. Both players end up dropping, and you haven't got any progress at B, and suddenly it's like, that's the risk of A sometimes. Yeah, no, like, that's the risk of taking really, that, that really That's the risk right? of it, is that that happens, then you get pinned in, and it's more likely when you're playing against another top four opponent that you're just going to get punished. Yeah, now Envoy on five in a row. We'll see if you can find that cruise. Not the best map for it, but doesn't hurt to have it. Seems so going to be lurking around this mid-tank area. Pretty much a 2-2 split here for Optic. You see Scraps going to stay patient on the A Street. Maybe put some pressure on that side of the map here in a moment. But Envoy gets cut down by Ken. You're at least able to make sure what Envoy. Yeah, not getting that cruise to use. Still looking good, though, right now. The slide, the pop, the shot's not there, though. His dashy will win that one. Scrap able to trade that effectively. And if he gets across the A, maybe you create a little bit of madness. But Pred able to stop that from happening. So good vision across that cut is Pred. Well, it really just makes this easier, right? If, if Scrap is there, then maybe two players go. But now you have a retake attempt out of Optic through mid. A huge win for Pred now. You can see what this does. Inside just going to have to sit here alongside of his teammates and pressure on. So that starts with that one gunfight towards the A side. It's now a chance here for Optic maybe to only allow two ticks through. Which is insane. That's still an advantage for Ultra. Just because he did such a good job the first time through. 40 seconds still to work with, though. We're going to get that minute extension. 
Scraps POV looking for it from the backside, and he's able to hit it. Now back onto the point. They've got two, three here to stack, so you should be getting that done. You get the three ticks, you'll get the minute extension, and you'll pick up the player bridge side. So that's an open to make the transition a little bit easier for now. Get rid of that pressure on the street. Scrap just shooting straight as ever. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, you're pinned back here, right? You have nobody up the A street. So your furthest player is on the A point. Now Envoy with the rival trying to put any shots that he can in through that stun. The slide was able to hit out of Shotzi. But you see number three, inside is just making sure no one crosses. So we have continuous pressure on A on the spawn of the defenders. I mean, similar to the early going in that round one where you had to deal with being on the back foot right away if you're ultra. Granted, you've got B done, so a little bit different, but you have to deal with some pressure early on A if you were Optic Texas. So far, you've been dealing with it. Now it's the A street aggression. Can they find an opening? You have three players there, though, but now that's the only presence. Everything is basically between A and back gas. Now Daddy going to be out for Envoy as he's going to try to maybe play spoiler. Look for some kind of opening, but the comms coming through, the one spawning on that's LB Shotzi, and he's just going to wait there. Patience is here, but the gunfight getting a little bit harder. I mean, Shotzi's just wasting his time, <laughs> and he's able to win both one-on-ones. Great huge. play out of Shotzi, great movement, finding all of the info. His teammates can now work up the middle of the map as Pred able to take down Kleenex with some crisp shots. So far... Both teams, when you get pinned back, they've done a good job fighting out and dealing with that. Just obviously a little more success offensively for Toronto Ultra. But barring some kind of miracle in these final 10 seconds, you feel good about the A hold if you are Optic Texas. But some work to do to guarantee a round five defense as we look to get deeper in this. With those gunfights, that will end it. Tied up 1-1. Advantage in the ticks, though. 3-1 to Ultra. Then you have Shotzi on four in a row. Maybe you can carry that into this round earn another streak we'll see how he plays it it's just like whenever you get like goosed like you get no ticks on offense or like one like it, it's just it, it makes does it change your whole mindset it just makes it so difficult to get that defense in round five yeah i mean i don't know if it changes their mind i think they're a team very capable of winning around five well offense. do you think about being maybe uh, well yes offense or do you get a little bit greedy or take a risk on defense to try and really just nullify that and hold somebody to nothing you just kind of play your game yeah i guess we'll see how this offense goes because that'll probably dictate their pace the right four, yeah right? i mean if they get five ticks here yeah that, yeah that changes everything offense is what it is i'm worried about defense you maybe take a gamble to try and force the issue and get around five defense with just like a perfect hole to get advantage. But yeah, as you said, all depends on how this goes. Five in a row now for Shotzi as he looks to try and earn a cruise. Getting aggressive on the other end of it will be in sight. No cruise going to be coming through either for Shotzi. Over to Pred though, maybe he'll have a chance. Three, dancing for four, finessing away as he'll live to see another day. Yeah, the problem is, again, it's a, sh a Pred is through, Shotzi's through, but look at the B point. It's just surrounded by purple arrows. Teddy just literally gets triple teamed on the objective. You they are literally before. just ignoring these players that are pushing through the spawn. Envoy is going to die. Now you go to A. It looks like the green arrow is starting to work over towards A. Yeah, some big gunfights upcoming because there might be an opening now to get a presence on A, maybe lead to an offensive round victory if you can get that done. But as you lose Pred, you lose a bit of an option there. Dashi will die on, so it'll fall apart. Now we're in a somewhat similar position to what we were the first time through. Six straight for insight, though, and that is a cruise. More utility added on to already having the tick advantage if you are ultra. I mean, Chuns are controlling the middle of the map. They can go for this again if they want to. Now they're probably going to try to back down down. Kleenex trying to work the pinch. He is so weak, though. Did you get a little help from a teammate? The wall banks trying to come on through. On the opposite side of the map, Shotzi trying to push towards blue. He might get a double. Well, his teammate is going to help him, but B is done. Now all the pressure over towards A. Yeah, you lose three players there. If you're ultra, will it be at a costly enough time? I don't think it'll be that big of a deal because you don't have that much forward momentum on the map if you're optic. So you should be able to spawn up and get to some good positions. You have 90 seconds to work with. We are dead even in live. Scrap is still shooting. Nice shots there to stagger this setup and push. And now what are you trying to do? What do you see on the map here for Optic? How are they trying to I mean, build this? I mean, this is what they want, right? Similar to Ultra last round, you're controlling the A street. So that is where the buildup will be through Cafe. You're going to have Shotzi on one side of the map. And now it is go time. Green light. Here comes the green wall over towards A. Here we go. Some massive moments here. Now you can't quite finish the one kill. And then Shotzi will come in gas side. It's chaos. Is Shotzi able to get another scrap, though, with his own double, which might be the difference. You got the closer spot if you're on defense. 
Dragons, but the stun will hit. Dashing will stay up. The big thing here is just pausing this clock. How much progress will he get will remain to be seen, but just pausing the clock enough to get your team here. Have time to battle may be enough is they'll deal with them. But yeah, that's still, you still got a minute to go. Yeah, I mean, it's 14 versus 13. So Opti maybe you to play a little, little TDM here. You have Shotzi through once again. He has been so good through these flanks. Right now, the next man up. As Ultra have just been pinned back, nobody up the A street. Seem to be dealing with this push a little bit cleaner. As Scraps should have a trade here, you would think. I got a little nervous with the movement. <laughs> Dashy now is able to win it. So he's gonna hold this pressure. Just having one person up in this position, yeah. So much pressure added to it. He goes for the trophy kill, so Dashy's able to chow out. Craig gonna follow it up. Numbers here, 26.1 on the clock, and that's why Dashy pausing all his time has been so massive. It gives you extra opportunities for the push. Craig now watching the cross, able to shut one down. Progress continuing on towards A. Craig gets another two on it, ripping and roaring. Third tier is going, nearly done. No respawns left for Ultra. An optic strike. Okay, so scratch everything I said about defense. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there, there are the ticks you want. There is the round that you want. Now pressure over to Ultra to have to win one. But it's just this buildup constantly. As we said, it was always one more player for, for Optic. This time, it was Dashy. But the timings from Shotzi, the amount of chaos that that man causes in the, the base of Ultra. He wins multiple gunfights yeah. from back gas. And gets his team there. Yeah, and then Dashy just a couple like tough one on ones on the point where he has MCW and they can be difficult. He only has six kills, but I feel like they've all been no, no, on no. the objective for He's the most part. He's got 18. Oh, 18. Yeah. No, it just bugged out. I, I just like, saw for a second. I was like, how does he only have six? I think I watched him get six there for a second. Okay, Codcaster, thanks a lot for that one. But now you're going to see well, what. Straight for Pred, too. Yeah, Ultra, they're going to go for this. So they have two players on A. The teammates, though, do get picked. It's just, yeah, the progress is going to go. Ken is trying to get here, uh -oh. but nice little crossfire. Insight, he's up next, and Dashy is weak. Just going to wait for his health. Now here comes the challenge. He got two ticks through, though. Some nice pressure done there, but again, you take a bit of a risk. Anytime you're sending it towards A, it's nearly a minute now off the clock. You find a sequence of kill, but Shotzi's still in position. Over towards B, trying to delay this is the entire team. Now sitting it forward if you are Ultra. You need an offensive round one to push this to a round five. The great defense from Ultra two rounds ago, not going to matter at all. Is now they've got to do it on offense, but you deal with shots, you're really the lone guy here. So now you get some progress, but look, starting to move up the A side of the map will be Optic Texas, trying to take a little room. Yeah, and because, you know, you lose, what, a couple of players middle of the map, you leave Shotzi there. Optic don't know if Ultra are just going to go for A one more time, right? They only need one tick. So you play very aggressively on towards A. Does Optic, and now Kenny working the pinch that get them off of B. The second tick not through. They're able to retake, and now pressure on. You're going to have to get out of this trap. You see the position of number five in Big Ken. Gonna have the help of Pride with this crossfire. What was once an incredible response from Ultra, and now maybe that for Texas. You have to exhaust the streak. Just get out of a trap. Will lead to another one. Not able to connect, but Scrap does get one during that sequence. You start to move up towards B, collapsing all around the point. Will be the Ultra Boys, but it's Shotzi up to the task as he is taking names. Scrap's still trying to hunt. He's able to find one all the way through the double in the same moment. So you work to get some progress, try to get the extra minute extension. <laughs> but Kenny shooting, drops two, still holding the cut through dark. Now inside back into it, stopping the clock in 20 seconds. It is chaos here at B. Yeah, Envoy's had some big gunfight wins, but with what Tenny was able to do, he buys time. Now the pressure is here again from the teammates of Optic. Right now, and now it's down to Dashy. Ultra desperately trying to get done with this B. It is Tobias with the headshots. B done, the minute extension is in. On the transition, you do have Scrap and Inside trying to get there quickly. We slow down for a moment here, but you don't have a lot of time. Yes, you get that done. Yes, you only need one tick, but you only have a minute. You have very few chances to push this. This is likely going to be your best opportunity. You have three people pushed forward. These gunfights are huge. Kleenex goes massive at B, brings it right over to the A side of the map, and goes nuts. Envoy with one. Onto the side we go. Ring around the Rosie. Envoy still dancing. The movement I thought maybe there. Over to the ready. Five in a row for Kleenex with the stun. Will hit. The stun will stop the onslaught. 40 seconds. Two life advantage for Ultra. Yeah, now you can see Optic members trying to just hunt down insights. Where did he go? Where did he go? As much as they can. Great teamwork out of Shotzi and Pred. 
30 seconds. It would only take one push, maybe only one player to get done with this point. Get us to a round five. Envoy's been shooting well, but he's going to lose that first bullet and the gunfight to Dashi. I was worried that might be your only chance. If you are ultra, you had so little time. But you have maybe your last opportunity here. 10 seconds to go. Watch number one. Watch scrap. Desperation. Trying to make a play. It'll be scrap. Making a play through gas. Kleenex. One in front. Five straight for Pred. A double for Kleenex. Scrap now here. The 201 shell. On to the point we go with 1.9 seconds. They just need a kick. And it's done. You kind of just turtled up. <laughs> I mean, it, you obviously find insight. And then after that, you double up inside a cafe. You have one player watch the pinch, one player on the site. They just waltz up the A street. Both of these teams have not allowed the, de the defense to get up over towards bridge. That middle Whoa. tank setup, we have not seen that no. whatsoever. Maybe that is just props to both of them on their offenses. Yeah. But here we go. Even though you've been in like a bad spot and so little time to work with, I got worried at first that Cleas missed like the first four bullets there, but it turns into two with the teamwork. You get the two on one shot on the point, and this is all due to the progress you got early. Like beginning of the round, you got the two ticks, it pays dividends there as you close it out now. All the defensive work has been nullified behind two offensive round victories, one for either side. It's all down to around five. As this is where the playmakers the make the big time plays. Who's going to go huge? That's four dead. It's Kleenex. It's four dead, and he's got four in a row. So getting to great positions here might allow him to earn a cruise. Yeah, but Shotzi, he's going to try to do as much as he can to get his teammates out of this. But I'll tell you what, in that last round, it was really Envoy and Kleenex that stepped up massively, had multiple multi-kills to get them through the middle of the map. Scrap's going to have a big one-on-one -on -one versus Pret. You see all the green arrows working the A Street in sight there to help him out. But here comes Optic towards A. Yeah, this could be an uh, insane sequence. You take that one, but the three are going to drop. You're on to the point. Envoy trying to be Mr. Mid-Map, but you'll stop the clock at 54 seconds. You'll slowly work this progress as another headshot comes on through. Dude, he's been trying. Guessing where is he at? Is he left? Is he right? Is he back? Is he front? He can't drop him, but Kleenex is there and able to do it. It's 50 to go and no progress yet for Optic Texas. We got to restart over at B. Ambo has really just been, I mean, he's 27 to 26 leading the way, but some individual one-on-ones that have bought his team some space, some room to work with. Well, Major 2, he was costing the squad in those moments, not costing here. Scrap with some help, backing one up. Renetti, not enough to finish. It is Dashy will stay up, but the trade will be through for Envoy. Other side of it's Kleenex trying to deal with an EA side pressure. And now you're scrambling if you're Optic Texas. All four off a of spawn, 30 seconds to go. Final round of math three, and you've got to make a play. Kenny will start things off. Yeah, they're just right down the middle. Oh, they're just right down the middle. Where are they going to go off this play? They do a good job getting out of the trap, and they know they have to go to B. They only have 12 lives remaining. So Ultra, they just need to calm down here. They can go for this if they want to. Maybe if they hit a nade, hit a certain position, but no need to, no rush. Looks like you're going to wait on number four and Kleenex to hit the pitch. Yeah, I do anything but do anything a little too overzealous and maybe throw this away, fumble it. Like, he lost three there. Now let's take a breath. Minute 13 to go. Minute added on. Optic Texas now with the extension. 14 v 11 in the lives. Kleenex has been so, so good in the late moments of this one. Can he keep it going? This is a nice reposition. Avoids dropping and at the same time inside able to get a double. The centering wasn't there at first, but he's able to retrack and get one. Four straight now, working towards streaks. Shotzi and Kenny do lock down two. To scrap, we will go now, and Joe will see what he can find. Yeah, again, who guess who it is? It's it's Shotzi in your base. Look how much time he is wasting. Ultra need to hunt him down and quickly. The last two players in front of Dashi. Maybe they think they have to go. They have to go for this, but guess who? It is Envoy again able to win another one. Dashi's on the point. Four lives remaining here for Optic. It's just how, what are you supposed to do? It is just you. You're hoping to pause it as long as you can. It won't be long. Just Kenny, just Pred. They drop. Ultra, take it. Up to one. Woo! And that ends up being a fun invasion control. Is you know, all the pressure on Optic early to have to come up with an offense. They do that.
shifts completely. Like, the shifts you have in Evasion Control are not just based on one offensive victory. Somehow you answer with 1.9 on the clock if you are ultra. We go the distance in just like last time. Goes to around five, ultra defense, and they're able to take it. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, just yeah, props to both of these teams. Their showings on attack were so fun the way they built these up. You obviously see here, what, 30 bombs out of Envoy and Kleenex. Something you'd love to see. Damage leader, yeah, of course, there's going to be scrap on the other side. It's a tough map for Ken, but you can see the damage he was putting in there. It's right there with his teammates. He had 30 bombs out of Shotzi and Pred. The pressure they were putting on the map. But yeah, Ultra, I don't know, there were just some key one-on-ones that you saw from Kleenex, from Envoy, time and time again. And maybe they don't win you the game, but it stops like multiple members from, you know, getting on the objective, from losing map control that allows their team to reinforce. This is what they were losing last major. Yeah, 101 may not win a game, but it puts you in a position to then win the game. Like, it allows you to get to your spots. It slows down a push. It sets up a push. There were some key ones. I think you were nailing it with Envoy. Yes, there were MCWs all over the place, and these are some of the eight best players in the world. Everyone was beaming, but there was a lot of criticism of Envoy. Those shots, he was not winning those fights. He, he wasn't. He wasn't winning those against non-top four teams at some times through Major 2. Here, though, he had his bright spots. Well, and I think, again, he just really wasn't using the MCW. That's yeah, true, that's true. Uh, yeah. He was, and obviously with this Renetti, it just feels like on some of these maps, everyone's like, we can do it all with both of these weapons. Obviously, over towards that AA objective, you can still catch everyone off guard. Now, there were a couple of chances throughout that round five for Optic, but Ultra, Ultra able to hold on. That cruise was massive to get Ultra out of the trap that Optic was had them in, right? To get Teddy out of that back tractor spot, get them up that B street, extend the game, and that got them to this round five. I mean, you've just seen moments of brilliance and ice from both squads with the last lap there. It's gonna be for Ultra. It was the late game ice of the map, one for Optic. Ultra's turn there, advantage to them. We now get ready to head to a six star for these two teams and their hard point. What are you thinking going into map? I mean, obviously, this is two maps you were undefeated on uh, throughout uh, stage two, or sorry, sorry, throughout the year. You that were, looks pretty good for you. You were 11 and 0 on both sub base and six star. Now, not a bad map at all for Toronto Ultra, sitting at two and one. Again, a, a new map into this stage, something you're constantly working on. But yeah, it should be another banger. Well, we've had, you know, a, a month, month and a half of six star. What has stood out for you? What, what, what do the good teams do well? What separates them? Well, I think sort of chaining P2 and P3. I, I think that is a, a big moment. I think what Optic does so well is, well, over towards P5, Shotzi just his ability to swim, honestly, just waste time. <laughs> yeah. As simple yeah. as it is in some of these maps, like, you see what he does. We just saw it on that invasion. No, no, he is uh, he is elusive, that is for sure. We'll take a look at the holding in the hard point through stage three and how these teams have done. Anything that really stands out to you big time? Well, I think obviously you see how close it is, right? Points per hold. We're looking at first and fifth. You're looking at two point difference there, but I think these are just two elite respawn teams. Yes, they absolutely are. Specifically talking about the hard point, they can be so, so good. The control, I mean, if you thought there was maybe a, a, an advantage for Ultra in this series, probably the control is based with what you're like four and three over your last seven. I think if you're optic in that, but the hard point has been there. You try to now bring it back, get this to two, two, get it to a game five, because the search and destroy has been good this year. You still have a chance to take this series. It's a massive one here on a Saturday as we look to set up our top four for championship Sunday. We take a look at the six star hard point overall on this season. Just as you broke down, yeah, I think you have not lost sub base. You have not lost six star. Typically, when you get two hard points, you've never lost before. It's boating pretty well for you to take some hard points. If you go down to map four, and they try to get us the entire way to a map five over the hometown heroes, and Ultra shut it down now. Well, a nice start here for Ultra. Some early time, but well, Shotzi well. is uh, shooting. <laughs> Right as you said that, like they all just get smoked. That's how it goes as a caster, Joe. That's how it goes. No, seriously, literally just got absolutely just pissed on. <laughs> Dashy and Fred then follow it up as you'll look to rack up some of this objective time early on. You can't quite track him if you're Fred. He's shaking his head, maybe frustrated with that gunfight. But now for Kenny, he's uh, between a rock and a hard place. He slides out right between two players. Yeah, and Optic, they get a little overzealous over towards this P1 setup. And what opens up, it's that P2 sort of bench spawn. And Ultra will take that. But you do get 35 points here if you are Optic Texas. But on rotation, Ultra going to be in a spot to get on to this P2. Yeah, so great. 
Opening Hardpoint, now can you get a crazy break maybe and shift this into your favor even more if you are Optic Texas? Well, backside a little too thick. His Pred able to see one. Dashy with a second. Kenny can't fall with a third. And it's already Kleenex on five straight at five and two, working towards a cruise. He'll drop the Shotzi though, so no cruise earned. Shotzi uh, getting tag teamed to the Aqueducts. Yeah, I mean, this pressure is still here, though, from down low. It can be so difficult if you really don't get pushed out here on this hill. And what Optic's trying to do is just keep them trapped on the right side of the map, set up. You see number five, Kenny, he's just going to rotate for this P3. And this is kind of what Optic did on the sub base. Like, they kept it messy, won some of these key rotations. So, all trigger, they're going to take this scrap time, but now need to break their, themselves. I have a five-point lead here, yep. Now, does that actually spawn down. out? He oh, does. Sorry. Yep. So number eight and Dashy all the way out. What will the tracking back look like for him? Because you'll have numbers right now if you're ultra to try and push forward, or maybe you just need a scrap on the map as he's got four straight. And there we go, able to just chain this, and this could be a key moment. So you rotate, but you get picked apart due to scraps play. But Shotzi right on back with another double. There is three in the feet. Oh boy, yeah. Trying to hold on, but good luck with that one. Yeah, how often do we see it though? You get a great break, but uh, the break comes right back the other way. So much talent between these two squads and another nail biter early on, 51-51. And now the score line is Kenny has got everybody in front. It's Envoy though that's able to get two. Envoy, six and eight right now. As it looks to continue, what's been a terrific series. You got one HP if you're dashing, but now it's a rotation thing. Going outside all the way will be Shotzi. I think he gets hurt or spotted, though. Yeah, inside knows. Inside knows that the, the glass was broken, but Hit you got to deal with him. Hit yeah. fire hidden. Yeah, obviously, when you're popping Deddy, that's going to work. And now he's going to win a second one. It's going to take three players to take down Shotzi, but you do have spawn control. Pred trying to go on a pinch, and Dashi maybe should have waited a second. Uh, it's like if Shotzi got those kills, like, uh, two seconds later. Yeah. Like, you've got the reinforcements from Optic Texas, but they can't get there in time. So you have the close spawn. You reinforce it so quickly. If you are Ultra, and as you say that, it's three through for Optic Texas. Another break moment is everybody struggling to get clean time right now. What's really just sucks, I mean, it was Envoy in clean yeah, over towards yeah. the P2 or P3. Now it's Pred and Shotzi again fighting on back. Shotzi up to 14. It's like the nades are connecting 20 seconds left on this P4. Optic gonna have to rotate. It's like you get into a hard point, you get a setup, and then you're three dead. Like it just seems to be happening so, so quickly. And time and time again, it's just these rivals that are connecting and a spawn gonna come over towards that p2 for optic gonna be difficult for ultra to read that and that's gonna allow optic to get set up well now we get to shotzi's water world as he'll try to get wet and nasty mm. on this upcoming hard point he'll be the one racking up the time left side spawn now for toronto ultra as they'll try to get in and maybe get a break you've got a minute off the clock and you're tied up at 84 84 just battling tooth and nail Blood set and sweat and tears for every single second. Three through, though, for Optic Texas. You know, Shotzi's going to be in the water, and there he's able to get the kill. So you continue to hold. You said this is where they've been good. I don't know if he's got, like, goggles. It's just something better. He's got something better than everybody else in this scenario. Some flippies? It, maybe. Maybe he's got, like, a water attachment on his Renetti. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure that probably exists with all 4,000 of them. <laughs> you know, he definitely just superior when it comes to the water battles because you take uh, a big advantage now here well big i mean it's 30 points but considering number of lead changes and how tight it's been it's feeling like a large one uh, struggle for kenny maybe after that map three but as i say he's been struggling he's able to get two five and twelve right before that multi kills traded back and forth and now into our second set of rotations and i mean this is we thought this would be a straight up war any adjustments or that's what this map is? Yeah, I mean, who, uh, yeah, who's gonna hold and who's gonna maybe just stack these hard points together, but Optic down 2-1 in this series, trying to get us to a game five. Let's go to an Optic listening. Two blues, two blues. You gotta live, you gotta live. Watch out, there's a little bit of a One push, that's me. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna set up. Top line, 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 top
Turn it down. 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 Turn I need to turn it out. 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 The sequence you talked about earlier, the ability to hold it from the front, set up for next, exactly the opportunity now for Optic Texas. A chance to maybe blow this one wide open. The kills are there. Kenny, who struggled early, another multi kill. You heard probably getting fired up in the comps, gassing the boys. Uh, I mean, obviously, the James is going to be a little bit easier for 10 when his team starts to win these rotations, but the toms were beautiful. What are we watching? I got dropped down. Let's rotate. It was just on point there for Optic. Now, a 30 point lead, but yes, you're still starting to just combine these two together. You see the lead grow. Alts are gonna need something crazy here towards this P4. Yeah, I mean, you heard that plan developing from the very beginning of your last hard points. They were just trying to set this up and set it up they do. You'll take a 50 point advantage now over into next. The answering moment. Exactly as you said, now the opportunity here for Toronto Ultra to bring it back, a game that has had an absurd number of lead changes. Will there be another one? Or did Optic Texas run away and close this out and get us to a map five? It's time for Ultra now to try and rally. Bring it here in the hard point, down 50, 50 on the point. Dash is gonna get the first, but that will be a three dead. Envoy again, another multi. He's 20 and 22, but it feels like every time he's in the feed, it's a double. Yep. The first push, the first hold so far, so good here for Ultra. You do have the back spawns, but Ultra able to read it. That's five in a row. You would love a cruise for the pool hill. Just to deal with the shark that is Shotzi. There's number six. Here comes the pressure, though. 29 seconds still here on the hill. Oh, you're glad he's weak. I was like, he should get back to full HP before he chows. But the call comes in, he's weak. He's able to get number six. And you are roaring back into this. Down 30, just under 20 to go here. So you'll have a slight deficit going into next unless you get this scrap time if you're Optic, which they are desperately fighting for. Slow the momentum from Ultra. You know a streak might be upcoming, but you got a rotation across to the other side as well. You've got Kitty there. You've got Shotzi for a bit of crossfire. Shots he gonna drop, Kinney gonna drop, that crossfire's gone. Yeah, a little unlucky there for Ken. He's hoping to take him down and then maybe snap onto the second, but on this rotation, that will be a three dead. Now Ultra into their setup. Shots he gonna find the first. Again, you still have that cruise on Envoy if they need. You needed that P4 and you got it from Ultra. It was beautiful from that setup. You can see what this is doing. Seven in a row here for Ultra. They're controlling the middle of the map. Scraps position. They know they're pushing through P2. You tried to wrap all the way around the flank and his scrap spawns. He's just able to get position to shoot one in the back and continue this hold. Scrap shot another. I thought it looked clean burst to the face as another lead change comes through. Ultra back in front. They are clicking in the prime time moments late in these last couple of respawns. It's not connecting. It's shots. I'm telling you. Water magic. He's got some sort of water magic. I swear to God. As he gets another one, but the trade will be there the second he's out of his water upgrade. And the top now runs out. 10 point lead to another point. Opening kills here for Ultra. Yeah, I mean, you, you pull two towards you. Does shots but your teammates die on this rotation. The FP1 control, now Shotzi with the double. He's able to slide on in. So you have to slow this down if you are Ultra. Do not forget you have that cruise. 15 more seconds is in sight. The rival, the MCW, they're doing it all. They're getting the big kills. They're in position to close it out. 10 more now needed. It just seems a matter of time. The hometown boys are holding and rolling, trying to shut it down, but you do enough, you fight enough to get him out for now and battle back through on the point. 
You're still alive in this if you're optic tactics and you survive long enough. I don't know if you can, because inside dials up a triple and it's over. There has been nobody that has been able to stop Optic Texas outside of phase for months. But here in front of the hometown crowd, Ultra get it done in 3-1 fashion in a fun and remarkable series. No, it really was. Obviously, there is just so much attention on this man on our screen, what Scrap does, the shit that he talks, yeah. the energy that he brings. But I just think the other three step up in such a big way. Absolutely. There were so many question marks after stage two, after major two. Everyone, though, having moments. And just what we saw from inside there towards the end. Envoy with the multi-kills throughout that control, throughout that game four. This is the ultra we expect. The mullet and the multi-kills. Envoy bringing it. Is, it needs to cut that. It's but it's working. Fierce. Maybe not. It's no, working. No, no, it's magical. Leave that it's thing. It's working. <laughs> Leave that thing there. Don't touch a thing as you will move on to a top three guarantee. A winner's bracket final against phase one of uh, those matches for the ages they have gone toe to toe since the inception of the cdl but you look at the game flow here and where things maybe fall apart i mean where it's been like the the map one kind of the late magic for optic it was not here this time no it wasn't i mean you had your chances right the second p2 p3 you chain together you build your lead up but then it is responded at p4 and p5 it's a 10 point difference as we go into our final p1 shotzi pushes you know the pool hill one more time it pulls two players but your your teammates die inside a p1 setup then ultra just flood on well, through put so much pressure on when you're up to what 200